Nari came out to hang out with me. Oof. The beginning of the contraction is like so much worse than the ending. Those last ones I had were a lot shorter but a lot closer together. So I officially think I'm in labor, which is crazy. I am 40 weeks pregnant in zero days. So like this is our due date. <laughs> so crazy um but yeah it's 307 i started having the regular contractions starting at um 12 50 so a little after midnight and then um just now i'm having like a little bit of bleeding mm. but i don't think my averages are enough to call the doctor yet um but i think i'm getting there it's ranging from like one minute in duration and then like five to seven minutes apart where it said that they should be I think three to four before you call. So I do have my 40 week OB appointment today which is at 12, not 12, 10.30 um, and Anthony's supposed to go with me to that. So it's 3 a.m. now so we'll see if they don't pick up enough that I'm just going to be home until 10.30. But I have a feeling if they keep picking up, I'm probably going to be calling the doctor sooner and just seeing if they want me to come in to the hospital to get checked sooner. I don't know. But I do really think that this is the start of labor, which is crazy. I had a feeling yesterday. Um, I was talking really quiet before, so I don't even know if anything I said in the bathroom was legible. <laughs> Not leg legible is for writing, but audible there you go audible gosh i can't think straight i'm really tired i think i only slept like an hour and then this started happening so and i just like can't get sleep i was trying to rest for the past hour just like in between contractions laying in bed um and then just timing them when i had them but i just like can't fall asleep um but anthony's still sleeping i didn't want to wake him up yet um my mom just happened to be awake so i just told her I just looked up, we have a paper um, that's like what to do, like when to call. So yeah, that said three to four minutes. So I'm going to wait. I might honestly do a little bit of cleaning. <sighs> They're already coming like more closer together, so I just don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I was a one centimeter last I was checked. But that was a week and a half ago, so like I was supposed to get checked again later this morning. So I don't know if I've changed from like before these even started, because I have been having contractions all week, like my whole 39th week I've been having contractions. They were like much more mild, like I could, it would just, I didn't have to breathe, like deep breathe through them. But I would just have kind of like, just stop <laughs> when I had them. Um, so yeah, I've been having contractions all week, but just not strong and not extremely often like maybe one or two an hour or something um where i didn't think it was enough that i made any change so i'm thinking i'm still a one but now i don't know if things are changing so we'll see but i'm gonna try to do some cleaning while my mom's awake because she's sleeping on our living room <laughs> and that's at least something i can do so i'm gonna go do that it is now 7 a.m a little past i think i'm gonna call the doctor and just tell them like how frequently they are and the timing and everything and just see what they say i have a doctor's appointment in like three and a half hours so my guess is they're gonna tell me to just wait till my appointment but i just don't know so i don't know i'm just gonna call them um and see what they say it's just weird because there's like a lot of them that are like two minutes apart and then there's a lot of them that are like six minutes apart so the timing is just really up and down the average right now says it's lasting 50 seconds for three and a half minutes so i don't know i'm also i think it's more of just like i'm just curious like if i were to go to get checked and they were like you're still a one or you're only a two or something like that then i would know i still have a long way to go before it actually would be time for the hospital but i just don't know because i don't know what anything feels like <laughs> So, I don't know, I'm also really hoping that I have progressed because if this is what it feels like to still be a one, <laughs> I'm in for a rude awakening. <laughs> I'm actually looking at the paper, like the instructions, 
and it says like my office opens at 8 a.m. and it's 7 12. so now i'm conflicted do i call the on-call night provider or do i just wait 50 minutes we'll see i don't know i'll probably ask anthony <laughs> what he thinks i should do i'm gonna wake him up now but either way hopefully we'll be finding out in a couple hours if this is anything um anthony is up now um i feel like in the past hour i feel like they've slowed down a little bit but i've still had a couple really really painful ones so i don't know i don't know i'm thinking at this point like i probably could just wait until my appointment um if they continue to like be this far apart um and then i kind of want to go get breakfast just because i feel like i'm not gonna eat if if i'm in labor i won't be able to eat so i don't know i'm like debating on if i want to get breakfast i don't know at the moment it looks like they're like six minutes apart so they definitely like spread out some more been another hour it's 9 a.m and we're actually gonna go get breakfast and then we're gonna head to our appointment right afterwards i wound up not calling just because the timing spaced out really really far i'm still having contractions and they're still painful but they just feel like they slowed down a lot so we're gonna go get breakfast probably pack up the car just to be on the safe side go to the appointment and then we'll see from there Yo, Bo. How do you feel? Ready? Ready? We're on our way to the doctor's appointment, and Anthony and I got breakfast, which basically means I got breakfast, but I only ate a little bit of it. And we packed the car. Pretty good. You ate like half waffle and half the. I think I ate a quarter waffle, but half the hash. Yeah, which pretty good. Yeah. For you, that's pretty good. And then um, we packed our bags for the hospital so they're with us just in case. We don't think that it's anything, especially because the contractions are now like every 20 minutes apart. <laughs> and I feel like they're not quite as painful either. But so we feel like we're going to be going back home, but we figured we'll just know, play it safe. Yeah, Anthony said his water broke. Yeah. yeah. Mom's with us too. Nari's with us. Nari's really Hi. tired. <laughs> she's having a stressful week. Yeah. No, she's not. She's happy. <laughs> Nari's put on like five pounds. Nari. <laughs> Just kidding. Nari has eaten so well this week that yeah. she has definitely gained weight. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to the appointment. We will see. We're not too optimistic about it, but either way, it's something. Having baby. We're having Hopefully today, we're going into the hospital. Um, I'm two centimeters and my water broke. She said it was a very slow leak, but it still broke nonetheless. And so we're dropping Nari off and we're heading in. This is your last time as an only child. When I see you next, you're gonna have a sister. Getting french fries. So I have a little bit of carbs and something small to eat, and then we're going. <laughs> a medium fry with uh, hot mustard. Got the goods. We are admitted. Have my IV. IV. Can't speak. Anthony got me flowers. So we are officially in labor and delivery. I got checked at the office and I was two centimeters, 90 minus one, and that was five hours ago, I think. So they'll probably check me in another hour or two. 
I got my IV and now we're gonna go walk the halls. You have the toilet Anthony, background. yeah, the toilet background. Anthony has coffee. Hi, I'm Anthony. sad. I'm good. We're gonna be pirates. You ready to meet her? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's everyone's guess? You think eight, she's gonna weigh eight zero? Sticking with eight. Okay, what day do you think she's gonna be born? Tomorrow. Okay, 11.23 Thanksgiving, what time? Like exact, take a guess. Wait, three in the morning. Whatever's most inconvenient. <laughs> 3 a.m., okay. And then hair or no hair? So I get, yeah, that'll be tomorrow, 3 a.m. Yep. Uh, no hair, I'm hoping. I'll have to keep my guesses. So she'll be born today, probably 11.59. <laughs> um, she'll weigh eight pounds, three ounces. She will have a little bit of hair. And what's the other question? The time? Oh, you said the time already. I think uh -huh. that's everything. Okay. I think she's coming tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day, 11, 23, 23, although I want her to come today. But I just know that inductions take a while. So I have a feeling it'll be tomorrow. I'm going to say, like, noon tomorrow, which would be, what, 36 hours of labor total? total. I'm going to say noon. And then um, I think she'll have hair because my heart burns really bad. And I'm gonna say eight four, although I really want her to be like seven pounds. I'm a little scared. They did a, I don't know, they like felt my belly and the nurse thinks she's gonna be eight two and she said she had a big head. Looking at you. <laughs> so we'll see what she actually is, but those are our guesses. We're gonna go walk the halls. Playing cards. <laughs> I am allowed to eat in labor up until I get an epidural. So Anthony got pizza. Yeah. So we're having some pizza. <laughs> oh, and garlic breadsticks. Mm. Yum. Yeah. It's eight o'clock. It is. Three potosins out of four. Yeah. I'm at three. <laughs> and everyone knows what that means. I'm three centimeters dilated. It's gonna be a long night, that's what it means. Very long night. Grandma's being a champ. Oh yeah, I'm doing all the hard work. Yeah. Mallory's just yeah, Mal's just food. slacking over <laughs> here, just being gorgeous and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Grandma's so happy to be spending Thanksgiving. I am, what a privilege. Ugly bean, I'm really excited to meet you. Wrinkly bean. That's bad. Wrinkly bean, I'm really excited to meet you. Excited to be a dad. Yeah. <laughs> Can you come soon? Mm -hmm. I already want that for the world. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oops. One thirty in the morning, and um, I have the epidural, which feels amazing. <laughs> I guess I don't need a whisper. <laughs> I'm extremely numb. It's a lot worse on my right side, <laughs> which I kept feeling it more on the right side. Um, but yeah, I feel really good, but now I'm starting to feel pressure, like with each contraction I'm having, which is new. Um, she checked me at midnight, and I was six centimeters, which I haven't been checked since, but she said that she thinks I'll be like a 10 within two to three hours from midnight so I'm kind of hoping that I'm a 10 now <laughs> but I don't know we'll see but I'm feeling a lot of pressure she's officially gonna be a Thanksgiving baby because it's 1 30 now what? Oh, me? hi <laughs> I'm so excited to meet her me too and I miss Nari <laughs> This is our first night, so Nari is sleeping over at the rover, which he's been sending tons of picture and video updates. But it's our first night, like, having her not sleep with one of us or a family member. So I'm just like, how is she doing? <laughs> um, I'm sure she's fine, but I'm so excited to, like, bring baby R home and have her meet Nari. Since it's 1, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m. back home. I guess when it's 3, we can update. I'll text the family, but... Unless I'm pushing. But yeah, 
that's my update. Last we checked, which was an hour and a half ago, I was a six. Six, a hundred percent effaced and minus one, which is where the head is. So now I'm sitting up in like a chair spot, which maybe this is the last belly bump. We'll see. I don't know if I said this, but the day shift nurse did the Leopold's maneuver, I think, where they just try to figure out where the baby's resting. And she said, well, she, what did she say about the head? Just that the head was big? No. Wait, wait, how, how did she word the head? The head's, the head's down. I thought she said something about it, like, take, like, taking up, like, the whole, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we'll find out really soon, hopefully. But she, her guess was that baby R will be eight pounds, two ounces, which isn't horrible. Nope, that's <laughs> I was like scared for a nine to ten pound baby, so I will take eight too. But like, if she's seven pounds, that's even better. Better than Lindsay's guess as well. Yeah, Lindsay, if you're watching this, what the heck? Anthony's sister said that I'm gonna have a twelve pound baby. <laughs> I was like, don't put that out in the universe. We're not having a twelve pound baby. I don't think that would fit through my hips. <laughs> I only delivered one baby that was over 12 pounds and it had to be like through a c-section because you have a chance of a shoulder so shot. But anyways, anyways, I'm not tired, are you? I am tired, but like I don't think I can sleep. I'm like, no, I'm not going back to sleep. I'm like, um, antsy. And the meds, the, um, anesthesiologist gave me, it, I'm itchy. <laughs> but anyways, that's our update. We're 10 centimeters. It is, oh, that's bright. We're 10 centimeters. I'm feeling it on my left. So we're just trying to get that a little, I guess, more coverage before we start pushing. Yo, Bo. Cool. Okay. Mm. We're gonna meet her soon. Come on. I know. How do you feel? I feel amazing. <laughs> you're not anxious. No, you're gonna do amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have zero issues. I'm a little nervous to push, but I'm also really excited because I'm the wings we get out the whole time. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, 10 centimeters. It's officially Thanksgiving. She's gonna be a Thanksgiving baby. No, she's made of turkey. 11, 23, 23. Actually, she's made of garlic bread. <laughs> yeah, I was allowed to eat before I got the epidural, which was amazing, and I had garlic bread. Probably wasn't the best idea. <laughs> but it's a great it. idea. How do you feel, Dad? Okay. I'll be real quick. Take a deep <laughs> breath so in. Happy. Made it. Okay. Yeah. Our daughter's here. She's born. Today's her birthday. See? Isn't she perfect? Yeah, Grandma's holding yeah. her. So uh, tiny little girl. Yeah. 11, 23, 23. Mm. Look at that. Look at how glowing Mallory is. I feel disgusting. She's beautiful. I love you. Yeah. We were all talking about how none of us brushed our teeth and we all were. Yeah, we're all we're all pretty gross. <laughs> the best thing to be thankful Especially for. Especially our little filth monster. Oh she's not a filth monster. Yeah. She's perfect. Yeah. Today is November 23rd, 2023, and we had our baby. We're both so in love. Anthony is dropping my mom off um, at our apartment. We have to spend the night tonight again, and then um, they're picking up Nari, and I'm so excited to like introduce her to Nari. We have some dog toys that we brought that are new and we're wrapping it up in like one of her swaddle blankets so it smells like her and then we're like just want to give Nari a present but I'm so happy I'm so tired I have not slept 
in the past two nights I haven't slept um, because the first night I was having contractions at midnight and then the second night we were in labor the whole time I like tried sleeping and I think I only made it like 10 minute stretches here and there and then I would have to like flip on my side and everything like that um, or just something came up but we'll have to share our birth story then because we wound up not filming that much I don't think um, it was just a lot but it was so I'm so happy um, I'm very glad it's the labor is over with um, just like a quick rundown but it was 31 hours and I pushed for four hours and it was just a lot <laughs> and then we had a couple like scares with her um health and I guess kind of like while pushing my stats kept going down but everything was good and in the end everything's good she got to stay with us I'm just so happy like in the end I just keep staring at her but my mom was with us the whole time and yeah it was great I'm by myself now I think I said that they're going to pick up Nari I have to breastfeed her pretty much now, so I'm going to try to feed her and just relax, and then we get to go home tomorrow.